So we can create a first app by just writing start app and then we write the name of the app that we want. So I'm just going to write start app space my site and you can name this uh, app whatever you want. And if you're getting confused by what is an app, I'm just going to get into it in a minute. So you can see there is this uh, folder that's has been created called my site. And if you look into it, there's this migrations folder. And then there's all of this uh, files inside this folder. So what even before we go into these files, let's understand what is an app inside Django. So if you know what is an app, it's basically you must know that there are a lot of apps in your Android web store or iPhone web store. So I'm not going to get into that because those are different apps in Django. The the meaning of app is a little bit different. So in a typical website, you must see that there are a lot of options. For example, if it is my personal website, it has a landing page like we are creating right now. And then it has a blog area and maybe a forum area and stuff like that. So different areas can be called as different apps inside a website. So right now we are creating the landing page app and inside I'm calling it a little bit different. So landing page is our project name and my site is the app name inside it. So if we have a typical website, you can call your different areas of website as different apps. You don't need to do that. But when a project becomes really, really huge, then it's a good idea to make different apps for your project. One app is for blog, one app is for forum, one app is for your landing page and etc, etc. But because our site is not going to be that big, we are just going to create a landing page. That's why we are just going to create one app. So in our app is this uh, my site app that we have created inside a landing page project. And this contains a lot of files inside it. So the first folder is called migrations and it contains the uh, initializ initialization uh, Python file. So we're not going to, it's, it's just an empty file, just like we discussed before. So what is this migrations folder? So this migration folder contains all of the changes that we have made inside a database. Uh, soon you'll see whenever we made any kind of uh, database or we add tables to our database and then we do migrations, all of those files are going to be added inside this migrations folder. And then these rest of the files, this uh, admin.py file is basically used to handle the administration panel that you just saw over here in this administration panel. So this is this file, this admin.py file is used to handle that administration panel. And then this apps.py we are not going to touch right now, but just know that uh, it's basically used to add different apps and it basically used to configure your app. So in, in our case, we have this my site app and we can configure our app using this uh, apps.py, but we also don't need to touch this file a lot. And then this models.py file is actually a pretty important file because we add all kinds of tables and we manipulate the database using this models.py file. And then this test.py file, as you can see by the name, is used to run tests, but we are not going to get into it a lot. And then this views.py file is actually used to show our web pages, that is our HTML web pages. So the main files that are really, really important in this uh, in this app of my site are the models.py file and the views.py file. So these are the most important files. So let's actually close uh, all the remaining files.